Well, howdy friends, Brian Flesher, Matter of Routefitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and unfortunately I've been roped into doing a five minute fly tying episode, which is way below my pay scale, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Five Minute Fly Tying. Today's contestant is Brian Fleshig. The rules are simple. You have five minutes to tie a fly using materials that you've never seen before. Can Brian tie that fly? So I've been nominated to, uh, to do this by Justin, and I call him Justin uh, due to my uh, Hispanic background, uh, but it's Justin to most folks. And I guess this is what Justin tied up, and, and I love it, to be honest with you. I think Justin is uh, one of my favorite employees. Um, I think he's going to get a raise because of this fly. I mean, I probably would have trimmed this up a little bit, but hey, you know, each fly tire is unique. That's what makes this so much fun. So I think it's very patriotic. I love it, and I I'm actually going to take it and fish with it. So um, I guess the rules of the game is that now uh, Justin gets to pick uh, all the materials, and I have five minutes to tie a fly. And uh, I guess I'm supposed to be nervous and everything, and I'm not. I mean, this is going to be easy. This is n <laughs> not a problem. It's right up my alley. I'm an improviser, having spent many years, uh, well, uh, six months in college uh, studying jazz improvisation. And so three, this is right up my alley. Two, one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm started. Started. And I, I don't even have any thread, so I have to thread a bobbin. Uh, you know what? What's your favorite fish to fly for? To f I don't fly for fish. I fish for fish. <clears throat> Ask proper questions. You'll get proper answers. Fly for. So who's this fly dedicated to? Uh, Mick Jagger. I'd like to dedicate this to Mick. Hope he's doing well during this pandemic. Nice. Which I know he is. He's released uh, some exciting new music. And uh, I'm thinking he's taken up fly fishing. So what's your inspiration for this fly? Mick Jagger. Four minutes remaining. And I don't have a bob, you don't give us a bobbin threader in this uh, event, Alex? <clears throat> no bobbin threader. And this is, uh, hopefully that was properly Thread that bobbin! Hopefully that was properly sanitized. And did you guys give me a well, three and a half minutes for me. It doesn't fit in the vise, or I was going to call it at that. I mean, what else do you need other so than how many fish will this blast? Uh, the, the, uh, how many fish will this blast? As many as you want, if you just make it look like food. Okay, here we go. And so, who do you look up to in the fly time world? Um. I would say in the fly tying world, uh, Davey Watton. Davey Watton is probably one of the greatest fly tires of all time. Three minutes remaining. That's cool, man, no problem, I got this. I'm gonna wrap that all the way up. What's your go-to fairground food? Go-to fairground food would have to be a corn dog for sure. Uh, no question. I mean, hard to beat corn dogs with mustard. So what is this fly imitating? This fly is imitating a leech that has mated with a uh, chub minnow of some sort. And do I have to use all the materials? If you want. Oh, if I want, I see. 
see how this works. Okay, I got this. If your fly was a lead actor in a movie, what movie would it be? Um, probably the talented Mr. Ripley, which uh, featured Jude Law. Two minutes remaining. And, uh, oh, I can't think of the other guy. Um, Ethan Hawke. No, it was not Ethan Hawke. It was uh, Matt Damon. Jude Law and Matt Damon. Tie that fly! Who, who made up the rules of this game? So how many years have you been tying flies for? Uh, f 44 years. What do you want to say to our viewers at home? Um, uh, tie flies. It's a lot of fun. Tie flies and uh, enjoy yourself and it, you get to be creative and make up stuff like this and you can even dedicate flies to your favorite rock stars and One name them after really bad movies from the 90s or so. Um, if you could scent you, this fly, what would you make it smell like? I scent this fly? Oh, patchouli for sure. Patchouli. Um, being an ex-hippie. Myself, I just love that smell of patchouli. I think Linda's wearing patchouli here today at the shop. So it brings back memories of Jerry Garcia, the Grateful Dead, and all that fun that we had. I'm going to put a double whip, Five, whip finish four, over. Three, two, one. So, um, oh, what am I supposed to say here? Uh, you name your fly. Oh, I name my fly. Okay. This is called the uh, um, uh, this is called the just my imagination. Uh, even though it was a cover song on the Rolling Stones uh, Some Girls album in 1978. This came right from my imagination and uh, always been one of my favorite songs. In fact, when I was in the talent show when I was in eighth grade back at Sycamore High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, the band I was in, we played that song, Just My Imagination. So in honor of that, and my good friend Mick, who is now taking up fly fishing during the pandemic, we've been in touch. And um, <clears throat> I would like to call this Just My Imagination. Uh, you know, I think this imitates some sort of dragonfly that has drunk some sort of battery acid. Uh, or dropped something um, and uh, it's definitely a bass fly there's no question what else what else would this eat although it might be a decent little Atlantic salmon fly um, you know I've fished for those a bunch and never catch any anyway so it doesn't really matter what fly I use so but I would I would say this is definitely a bass fly uh, one of my favorite things to do around here and man that thing's gonna float like uh, it's gonna well, it's, no, it's probably going to sink. Probably going to sink pretty quickly. <laughs> probably going to drown rapidly and sink. It's a drowning dragonfly. Uh, drowning pink and chartreuse dragonfly. Um, and it's definitely for bass, no question, or Atlantic salmon. So, uh, there you go, friends. Uh, uh, from what I understand, this thankfully wraps up uh, season one of Five Minute Fly Tying. As always, we appreciate y'all being here. Um, uh, despite what Ryan has indicated, we are not gonna be selling these flies for $80 a piece. They are obviously worth way more than that, so we're gonna keep them for ourselves here. But uh, what could possibly be next in season two? 
I don't know, you're gonna have to stay tuned, but I've heard rumors that um, old Alex back, back there behind the camera is gonna make us go out and try to catch fish on these, which should not be a problem on mine. I'm not sure about the rest of these, um, although uh, very patriotic, and but some of the other stuff is just a real disgrace. So. But anyways, we appreciate you tuning in as always. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel despite how you're feeling right now about it. And be sure to like just for fun and make us feel good. And stay tuned because we've got a lot of other useless comment, con content coming your way. Big announcement, friends. You've asked for it, we're gonna deliver. We've got merch coming your way. Like butter, carp on the annual Mulberry Run, all kinds of stuff, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And by the way, you might like these videos too.